Are you thinking about making a move to Brentwood, Tennessee and want to know more about the area? Then stay tuned because in today's video, I'm going to talk about everything Brentwood. Cost of living, the housing market, schools, restaurants, taxes, things to do and so much more. This is the ultimate guide for Brentwood, Tennessee. Everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth Sheehan with Wiker Realtors, the Andrews Group. I'm a local realtor in the Nashville area and I specialize in helping other staters who wants to relocate to Middle Tennessee. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button down below to get notified every time I release new video content. Okay, let's get started. Brentwood, which is also where I personally live, is located only 10 miles away from Nashville with about 46,000 residents who enjoy an excellent quality of life. Let me give you a little bit of Brentwood history before we dig in on all the things that Brentwood has to offer. Like many other parts of Tennessee, Brentwood is very historic. Earlier European American settlers first made their way to the area in the late 1700s. During the American Civil War, much of Brentwood was destroyed in battle. But after the war, the area went through a regrowth period and continued to strengthen their agricultural economy. Brentwood was incorporated in 1965 with a population of little over 3,000 residents. When Brentwood was first established, they had a goal to keep the area a low-density residential community, and this is still prevalent today. About 90% of Brentwood acreage is zoned residential with a density standard of one dwelling unit per acre. So how is it truly like to live in Brentwood, Tennessee? First of all, you have to know that Brentwood is spread out between two different counties, Davidson County and Williamson County. You can see that from the map here. It is centrally located about 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Nashville, about 20 minutes from Nashville International Airport, and pretty much the same from Franklin. Fun fact, Brentwood has the shortest commute into Nashville from all of Williamson County. The average home price here is about 1.2 million, so definitely a higher price point compared to other Nashville suburbs and the national average. We have seen an appreciation rate well above the average these past two years, which means it is an area in high demand for sure. And that doesn't surprise me one bit because Brentwood is considered one of the most desirable city in Tennessee and in the entire nation. Low crime, some of the best schools, low unemployment, low taxes, no income state taxes. The list goes on and on and I'm going to cover everything as we move along in this video. There is plenty of outdoor life in Brentwood, over 14 parks and all of them are open year round. One of my favorite is Retno Lay State Park which is just over 14,000 acres with the Lake County for 85 acres of the park. Fun fact about Ratner Lake State Park is the first state park to have been given the designation of natural area in the state of Tennessee. Another favorite of mine is Crockett Park. With over 170 acres, Crockett Park is the second largest park in Brentwood. Its attraction includes seven tennis courts illuminated at night, two historic residences, a community playground, picnic shelters, and an awesome amphitheater where you can enjoy a bunch of summer concerts and other fun events. Brightwood's annual 4th of July fireworks display also takes place here. I posted a link of all Brightwood parks and hiking trails in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Brentwood is also very close to the water for those of you who are fans of water sports or fishing. As you can see from the map here, Percy Priest Lake is only a 20 to 30 minutes drive and you can definitely enjoy all sorts of water activities there, including great fishing. The lake is kind of our beach here in Nashville and there's a lots of lake life you can enjoy during the summer when the temperature gets a little bit hot. And also know that you have access to 75 acres of paved greenway, which is so, so nice. 
Now let's talk about schools in Brentwood. Remember earlier I mentioned Brentwood is spread out over two different counties, Davidson County and Williamson County. However, Williamson County ranks top in the nation for their school system. I'm going to link the Williamson County Schools website below in the description so you can take uh, your time to check all the different options. Or you can also visit grayschools.org to see how well a school is rated. Because of the excellent school system, Williamson County makes it a very desirable county to raise a family with some of the nicest neighborhoods around. In the last few years, we have also seen an increase in new constructions, especially luxury new construction. Williamson County is one of the wealthiest areas in the U.S. with lots of Fortune 500 companies, homes to CEOs, entrepreneurs, the celebrities. So it only makes sense that we have some of the most expensive real estate in the state and in the country. If you're interested in finding out more about new construction in Brightwood, please feel free to leave me a comment below. We can definitely talk more about it. Now let's talk a bit about food and all the yummy options that Brentwood has to offer. We have plenty of restaurants and bars to explore. Steakhouse, Mexican, sushi, Thai, barbecue, coffee shop, sports bar, you name it. The area is also well served with all the delivery services you can imagine. Uber Eats, Instacart, DoorDash, GrabOut, Postmates, all you have to do is pick one to have your favorite food delivered at your front door. And of course, you can also find your favorite chain restaurants and plenty of grocery stores options from Kroger, Publix, Fresh Market, Costco, Target, Walmart. And I know that for some of you relocating here, having Whole Foods and Trader Joe's close by is important. And know that you can find both in Cool Springs, which is only 10 minutes away. Fun fact, Brightwood is often referred to as the bubble. <laughs> it is so well served that you really don't need to go anywhere unless you want to. We also have plenty of street mall in Brentwood. We have the shops at Brentwood Hills, Brentwood Place, and Hickory Plaza Shopping Center. And since Brentwood is just minutes away from Cool Springs and Green Hills, you also have easy access to two of the biggest malls in the area, the Cool Springs Galleria Mall and the Green Hills Mall, which has all of the luxury brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Yves Saint Laurent, etc. When you move to Brentwood, you can expect to enjoy all four seasons, keeping in mind that Tennessee has mild temperate climate. However, the most comfortable month temperature-wise are May, September, and October. Summertime can get pretty humid and hot with temperature up into the 90s and sometimes triple digits. And the winter can bring a few snowfalls and freezing temperatures at times. But fall is by far my favorite and the rolling hills of Brentwood turn into quite the scenery. In terms in terms of jobs, Brentwood also has a very strong job market. Future job growth over the next 10 years in Brentwood is predicted to be at 50%, which is way higher than the US average, that is 33.5%. Definitely something to keep in mind if you are looking to relocate here and need to find a new job. Brentwood cost of living is 25 higher than the national average, but <laughs> if you can see from the graph here, while housing is 55% higher than the national average, utilities are 10% lower and groceries are 2% lower than the national average. Again, making Brentwood a very desirable place to live. In terms of tax rates, the sales tax rate for Brentwood is 9.3%, slightly above US average, but the income tax rate for Brentwood is zero. As you might know, the state of Tennessee has no income state taxes, so that makes even more desirable because tax rate can have a big impact when we compare cost of living. Property taxes are $2.17 per $100 of assessed value. This includes a city rate of $0.29 and county rate of $1.88. These numbers might not make a lot of sense for most of you, uh, but I do have a video that goes over exactly how property taxes are calculated here in Tennessee, so make sure to check it out. And you can leave me a comment below if you need any help with this subject. In terms of community, the city of Brentwood offers many ways for you to get out there and meet new people and interact. 
There are many city sponsored events where you can connect with the Brightmoon community, such as movie night in the park, summer concerts, and the annual tree lighting ceremony, just to name a few. The sense of community in Middle Tennessee is something truly special. And every single one of my clients who I helped relocate in here had mentioned the Southern hospitality as the number one thing they love about living here. It is no different for me and my husband when we first moved to Tennessee. There is a sense of belonging and care for one another second to none here. Tennessee earned the nickname of Volunteer State because Tennesseans' eagerness to step forward to serve in times of war. And the spirit towards mankind continues to live strong in current time. And this brings me to the end of this video. If you're thinking about relocating to Brentwood or other suburbs around the Nashville area, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. I'm always happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know by leaving a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to enjoy future video content. Again, my name is Elizabeth Ashia with Weicker Realtors, The Andrews Group. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today. I'll see you next time.